Hello everyone, I'm Ale and welcome to Solo Cosenove. A domotic heating system is very useful to keep consumption at bay, limit waste and increase comfort. It is a very important aspect both for ecological questions and economical one, useful to saving money. For this reason we just saw how to dismount radiators, how to make a son of with dry contact to use, and I remember you that uh, on the website uh, solocosanova.it you can find an app to calculate uh, the power of uh, our home so we can balance every radiator. So, domotic heating, uh, how to do? A little premise, uh, you must have uh, a domotic assistant to manage all the devices uh, you have in your home. In my case, I use a home assistant which I really love. But before moving on, I remember you to leave a thumb up, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any content like this and help the channel to grow. Thanks! Furthermore, on the website solocosanova.it you can find everything about the Solocosanova Ward. I always used the thermostat with the boiler, but after some years it broke. Instead of buying a new one, I preferred to understand how it works. The winter just begun, so for a little time I had to turn on the boiler with the wires like a car thief in the movies. But I wanted to do this task remotely, so I thought to connect the wires to a son of those classic Wi Fi switches that I'm using everywhere in my home. The problem is that uh, that Sonoff doesn't have a dry contact because it's the basic and you must have a dry contact to use the boiler, so I made a little hack. But uh, we just saw how to do it, so i leave you the link down here. Obviously I used Hespa Home to program the Sonoff, I use it uh, very much. Then I added a switch function to my domotic assistant with uh, MQTT. Now you can make uh, scenes uh, or automations uh, to manage uh, this heating system. So we can choose uh, to turn on uh, the boiler only in the morning or uh, in the evening, maybe only in some months, or maybe when the internal temperature of our home isn't inside a temperature range. So, a classic thermostat functions. In my case, uh, I program some other functions like a button to turn on only for one hour, two hours, three hours. And it comes handy because maybe you don't know the time when you go to sleep. And in my opinion, it's very cool because if we are outside home and we're coming back, we can turn on the boiler. Or if we don't, we can leave it like so and turn on when needed. I think that these make us more conscious of our power consumptions, as well as some saving, and it's always a pleasure. And we can personalize the domotic functions. Final considerations. The thing that I prefer is to manage the heating system remotely. Because if I'm not at home, or if I know that I'm not coming home, I can leave it turned off, but if I am coming back, I can turn it on and find a more comfort at home when I came back. All this fits perfectly with all the sensors I have at home to measure temperature, humidity, lights and everything I can measure, I do it. Thank you for following me also for today and see you in the next exciting video. Ciao!